Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you my new Fixer Upper acquisition. This home is in an affordable area. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 1500 square feet, single family home. You can see that the exterior of this home is very run down and the inside of it is actually even worse. In the next few months, we're going to get busy to completely transform this home into a dream home. So today I'm going to show you the before of this renovation and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you'll see what the after looks like once the renovation is all done. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to my channel. My name is Elisa and I'm a house flipper in the San Francisco Bay Area. I've been flipping houses for over four years now and I've done over 30 house flips. On this channel, I share before and after videos and home remodeling tips and tricks. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more interesting content. The curb appeal of this home is kind of unappealing right now because the front yard looks kind of like a jungle and the house looks very run down. But if you take a closer look, this front yard is actually not that bad. We have two huge palm trees in here that are very nice and they actually add dimension to the front yard. And we just need to clean up the ivy and we also would like to probably remove the bushes that's right in front of the house and we would be able to review more of the frontage of the home after that. We also would like to fill this trench and then a lot of the flowers here can be kept. They make the front yard look very lush and pretty already, so not a lot of work is required. The exterior of this home though is problematic because the first thing that catches your eye is probably that second story is kind of sagging right on top of this garage. That's because the garage header is rotten and it needs to be replaced. And also this garage door is made of wood and it's super old. It definitely needs to be replaced as well. We are also going to replace all of the aluminum single pane windows with double pane windows. And then on this side of the home, you can see that the front door is actually not in the front of the home um, it's actually off to the side which is not very desirable among home buyers but because this home is kind of on a lower price point it's probably okay um, i thought about relocating the front door to this area but unfortunately this is actually a bedroom not the living room so we don't really have an option to do that Throughout the exterior, you can see that a lot of the wood structure has dry rot. So we need to repair all of them and also um, make the home look nicer by putting on a fresh coat of paint. I believe after we do all of these repairs, the house is going to look a lot nicer. This is the side of the house where the front door is. You can see that right now there is no fence between this house and the neighbor's house, so there's no privacy. Our plan is to add a fence here so that when the next owner comes home, they can have a private walkway to the front door. On the interior of this home, we have very traditional tiles on the entryway that needs to be replaced. and. In the living room, you can see the carpet is very gross and stinky. It's all going to have to be removed with new vinyl floors. I love that the ceiling is vaulted in the living room. It makes the space feel bigger. The room would look so much better with a fresh coat of paint and new flooring. We also have popcorn ceiling throughout the house that needs to be removed as well. There is a fireplace here that we can easily paint it to freshen it up. And also, I like that there are big windows here that bring in natural light. They're right now covered by the window coverings that look dirty and dated, but that's an easy fix. It's nice that this dining space is right next to the living room and it's open here. 
but after you come around this wall you can get to the kitchen which is kind of in this enclosed space and in this space the kitchen is right now very small we only have a few cabinets and very limited counter space so our plan is to actually close out this slider because we already have another slider in the dining room and then we can bring the cabinets all around here and also shrink this window so the kitchen can be a lot bigger um, to fill up this whole room from the broken and exposed ceiling light to the dirty and dated countertops to the missing cabinet doors and appliances to the unfinished floors it's hard to believe that someone was living here not long ago. This kitchen needs a full gut and a serious makeover. Before I show you more of this nasty fixer upper, make sure you smash the like button below and subscribe to the channel so you can see more before and after videos like this one. On this side of the first floor, there is a bathroom here that doubles as a guest bathroom and a master bathroom. So when you enter from this door, it's actually um, a bathroom for the whole floor. But if you go in from the door from inside the master bathroom, this is actually a master bathroom. So it's kind of an interesting concept that we're going to keep because it's pretty functional for this home. This master bedroom is of good size and I like the high ceilings. On this wall, we have wood panels that we're going to remove and replace with sheetrock. And we are going to replace the single pane window here and also this brass finished closet door. The carpet again is super gross and it will be replaced with new vinyl floors. These are the stairs that lead to the upper level and now it's all carpeted and the carpet looks extremely gross and dirty. So we're going to replace these with vinyl floors and you see this metal railing is kind of traditional and with this wood handrail it looks kind of dated. If it was another home I probably will replace this with a new modern style railing, but because this is of a lower price point, I think we'll most likely just paint the railing and the handrail. The upstairs has two bedrooms and one bathroom. The condition is not any better here. The carpet is extremely gross and it's pulled up and the walls are damaged and there's unfinished vinyl floor in one of the bedrooms. This guest bathroom upstairs is super gross and dated too. You can see the shower faucet is leaking and the scallop sink is very dirty and old school. So we're going to need to cut everything here and put in all new finishes and fixtures. This bathroom has serious water damage. As you can see, the linoleum floors are peeling off. This is also why the garage header is rotten and the upstairs look sagging in the front. Off of the garage, there is a laundry room, which adds to the convenience to this home. In this laundry room, the floor is unfinished and the wall is open and there are some poorly made shelves on the wall. We're going to clean this up, install new vinyl floors and repair the drywall here. Right off of the kitchen and the dining room, we have this patio and a pergola on top. I wanted to keep this pergola because it provides a covered patio, but unfortunately it has a lot of dry rot and it needs to be ripped out. You can see this corrugated roof on top of the pergolas falling off because of the recent storms. The lot size is only 4,000 square feet, but this backyard is actually of good size. We have some mature trees here that are nice and we're going to keep them. And on the ground, there's old dirt and it's uneven right now. We're going to level it and put in new sod. Here's a walkthrough of this home. 
The filming of this video was difficult and nerve-wracking because this house is so filthy everywhere and there's rat poop and disgusting stains all over the carpet. I didn't know where to set my feet and I was worried that rats would jump out from behind me anytime. Due to the condition of the home, I was able to purchase it at a very good price for $850,000. Usually a home of this size would cost about $120,000 to fix up in the Bay Area, but the cost is about 20% higher on this home as there's so much to do. The after repair value is about $1.2 million, so there's a good margin even with the higher renovation cost. Fortunately, the floor plan is functional and there's a good size kitchen, dining, and living room. Once we enlarge and update the kitchen, it will look so much better. The rest of the home needs a lot of repairs too, and it will probably take us about two months to completely transform this home. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to see the after video. This home is truly one of the worst I've ever purchased. The interior is nasty, it has red poop all over the floor and an unpleasant odor. But the bigger the disaster, the better the makeover. I'm very excited to get to work next week to start transforming this home. Thank you so much for going on this Fixer Upper home tour with me. And if you have any questions regarding this scope of work, leave me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.